Immortality was queen of this division, joining Miss Easy as the only juvenile fillies to top a million dollars in single season earnings. And her resume included this win in July in the $229,000 La Paloma final at Yonkers. Immortality in front now by three lengths within the cloud. Second, Immortality in front. Trainer Bruce Nichols went to the Meadowlands in August for the $669,000 Sweetheart Final, and she paced a season's best, 153 flat. Three sixteenths to go. They're on their way home. Immortality by a length and a half to the Devil in second, and those two will decide it. A sixteenth to go. Immortality with a two-length lead. The Devil will be second best. John Campbell will win his sixth sweetheart final here with Immortality in 153. In September, Immortality shipped to Rosecroft for a division of the Lady Baltimore States. They're on their way home. Immortality steps on the gas. She's strong. It's Immortality, Susan Lobel and Irish Limerick. Immortality under wraps in 155 and 4. Immortality's record shows wins in all but two of her races. And she added to her win total in October, taking the $381,000 Three Diamond Series final at Garden State. She's got three to the good and she's hitting on all cylinders. Mercedes B on the outside closing in a Starfleet baby, but it's a brilliant driver and a brilliant filly combining for a super effort in the Three Diamonds final. It's all immortality. Score another one. Immortality captured the Breeders' Crown later that month and then returned to Pompano in November for the $109,000 matron stakes. Immortality on the outside, if you could see me now, is not done yet. They're still battling it out, heads apart. Immortality, if you could see me now, Crystal Eros on the outside, but Immortality will prevail. 